Montana Avenue here in Billings has turned into a vibrant, growing street of new businesses, restaurants, and breweries. But as Q2's Dustin Kleeman shows us in tonight's Q2 Rewind, the street that helped found the Magic City next to the railroad tracks also had some dark days. The depot was essential to the beginning of the Magic City. For years, it thrived on Montana Avenue as a hub for travel and commerce. But by the 1970s, right when Amtrak uh, passenger service ends at the depot, uh, there's a period where it, I would argue, uh, Montana Avenue begins to almost fall apart a little. Businesses along Montana Avenue dried up, then boarded up and even became known as the Billings Red Light District. I remember growing up um, when we would come to visit, so I'm from uh, Eastern Montana Ranch outside of Sydney, and every time we would come to Billings, we would drive down Montana Avenue because of course, there were the um, ladies of the night. Even in, in the daytime, you'd see the ladies of the night. And so I think Montana Avenue was kind of always famous as uh, Mon you know, Billings Red Light District. And he says where there are drugs, there's prostitution. But what's alarming to him is the age of those selling themselves on the street. How young are they? Oh, 13. I haven't seen them 12. But the bad thing is I see some parents let them do it. I see some parents promote it. I see some parents want to sell their kids to drug dealers. Even in its darkest days, though, there was a vision for a brighter future. You know, a lot of the buildings were in disrepair. Uh, people like, you know, Mike Shear and... Gene Bergad uh, had a lot to do with seeing a vision of an urban downtown that maybe others had not really visualized. Several historic preservationists want to try a new approach to upgrading Billings' historic district, funnel the scarce redevelopment dollars into one block in hopes of wooing more private investment. Create a, a kind of a, a different environment down here, a, a different streetscape, if you will, that, that has the historic qualities, yet it, it has all the buildings clean and uh, you know, the window fronts nice and clean, dressed up, and, and get rid of this, you know, abandoned look in some of these stores. The transformation of the depot, um, that was a huge stepping point for Montana Avenue when you saw that restoration, and that was long before I was ever there. Um, but the depot was boarded up, and it was kind of a, a hub for transients um, in the area. One by one, each of those buildings was renovated, repaired, and then occupied. And what's really cool about that is that all of the energy and the development on Montana Avenue is now, I would argue, spilling over the tracks. The destination, it's a real destination now. When you see a Friday night, you're walking downtown and Montana Avenue is one of the most vibrant parts of our city. And the story of Montana Avenue and its future continues. In Billings, I'm Dustin Kleeman, MTN News. And Dustin tells us the speed of traffic on Montana Avenue continues to be a concern for city leaders. Yeah, in fact, the city right now is in talks with the Department of Transportation as they try to identify areas to install new stop signs and traffic lights will keep you posted.